Up first this evening, a bizarre incident in Jerusalem, Westmoreland, has left four people dead. As Jamela Maitland reports, it all started with a shooting. The events which followed have left the community stunned. What was supposed to be a get-together for family and friends after a grave digging Sunday turned deadly in the usually quiet farming community of Jerusalem Mountain in Westmoreland. Four people were killed and another is in hospital with serious injuries. According to residents, explosions were heard and soon a tragic chain of events. Our five get rolled over. And when he roll over and go down in the gully and stuck the vehicle, which me myself I want to lick him. Come here, say you shouldn't do that because we come here today, so you no sooner run in a hit like that. Frantic, residents ran to see what had happened. And then we realized that they didn't shoot him. So I know why they shoot him, you know. According to the police, a gunman shot Hopeton Stewart, otherwise called Bogle or Blacks, during the event, and in his attempt to flee in his vehicle, he ended up mowing down five people in the process. When the driver gets the shot, he lost control of the vehicle and ended up right down here in that kin field. 49-year-old Rosalind Shera Grant, a vendor of Lansley's Bay in Hanover, died. Denise Richards from Top Rock Spring in Hanover also died. Her daughter is in hospital and an unidentified man is also dead. Stewart's family says he was a farmer in neighboring Maresfield Mountain. They described him as quiet, but his sister, while not getting into the details, said she could not shake the feeling that something bad was about to happen to her brother. I mean, they don't follow me. <laughs> <laughs> Stewart's his elderly mother could barely speak. Mama, as the community calls her, says she's saddened that the incident took so many lives. People, we are losing our good loved ones, our good loved ones. Miss, Miss telling you, Lord, we cannot make it. We can't be. It. We can't do no more. And as for counselor for the division, he says more emphasis need to be placed on crime fighting. This act is another example of the blatant disregard for law and order in this country. Again, I am calling on the government to treat crime and violence with a COVID-like response. Jamila Maitland, TVJ News.